going on people Epic 2000 right back at you with another video this time I'm going to do another discussion video for you um of course as you can see by the figures right here this is the entire gigantic series from X plus and um, now the speculation is on is what will be the next figure in the line um, X plus shot us and October 2013 when they announced that they were going to be um, releasing these gigantic size figures to the public and ever since then they've been the craze um, within the um, Kaiju Clinton community so I figured that I, I will just give you my thoughts and opinions on what may be the next gigantic Godzilla figure from X Plus um, and of course X Plus wanted the gigantic series line to have incarnations of Godzilla in his most powerful, um, mighty, and dynamic forms. And of course with the first, the GMK, and then with the Burning Godzilla, they have made some excellent choices in the matter. Now, the speculation is on, is what will be the next figure in the um, series. And since the GMK is from the Millennium series, and the Burning Godzilla is from the Heisei series, um, the speculation is that um, a Showa suit, a Showa design will be next. So I figure I will come out and tell you my thoughts and opinions on what may be, what may be the next Gigantic Series figures, figure, as well as Rick Boy items and things of that nature. And, and of course, you know, um, it could be any design of Godzilla, because every Godzilla design is powerful in some way, shape, or form. Of course, there are some designs that are more powerful than others, but every Godzilla design is powerful, including this one. I know there's, there's a collective groan out there that's like, I don't think so, but still, in some way, shape, or form, he is still powerful. I mean, look at this movie design, and look what he did in the movie. The fact that he body slammed praying menaces like it wasn't nothing, powerful, powerful, powerful. But seriously, um... Here are my picks of what I would like to see as the next Gigantic Series figure. Um, and I have uh, five. Um, number five, I know it's a long shot, but I would love to see the Godzilla 1991 as a Gigantic Series figure. More than likely, it probably won't happen, considering that we got the Bernie Godzilla. He's from the Heisei um, period. So the the idea of having another Heisei um, Godzilla as a next candidate is kind of a long shot. I mean, but then again, X Plus has been known to surprise us on occasions with their selection of figures that, that, that they put out. But the 91 Godzilla is by far my favorite Godzilla design in the Heisei um, period besides the Burning Godzilla. It's just, of course, it's a variation of the 1989 Biogoji suit. But it's something about the 91 Godzilla that is just more jacked and more powerful. And it's just all those things that, that um, x was were looking for in a Gigantic Series line is in the 91 Godzilla. So I really hope that they um, make this a candidate sometime, sometime in the future. As far as Rich Boy items, I would like to see maybe, um, maybe the spaceship that brought the, um, um, the future people. Um, from the um, 2204, you know, the movie in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. I hope they have maybe the spaceship, um, the time-traveling spaceship as a Rip Boy item, or a mini Godzilla source. But only time will tell. Um, number four, I would like to see a gigantic series, Godzilla 2000. Um, the idea of having this radical version of Godzilla in a gigantic form with the elongated spikes and the richness of his skin, the detail on everything. It's just, to have this in gigantic proportions will be an awesome, awesome thing to have. Uh, more than likely, it, it might not happen, considering we got the GMK, and there's a Millennium suit. This is the first of the Millennium series. Um, it's a long shot, but then again, we could see anything from S+. Plus. But I really hope they make just a candidate down the line that I mean just it's just an awesome Godzilla design and to have it in gigantic form is just would be an awesome thing to, to have and for Rip Boy items I would like to see maybe 
a mini orga, um, or maybe the alien before becoming an orga as a mini before it became orga as a, as a mini figure, or maybe the UFO that Godzilla 2000 fought in Godzilla 2000. Um, so hopefully well, we can see that. Um, then again, it's a long shot, but hey, strange, stranger things have happened. Now let's go to um, the Showa series. Now, as far as the Showa period, um, I believe, in my opinion, that the um, first few designs of the series were the most powerful forms of Godzilla. Like I said, every Godzilla form is powerful, but the three I'm about to um, tell you is what I believe may be a surefire candidate of the next gigantic series. Um, number three, I would like to see the 1962 King Goji from King Kong vs. Godzilla as a gigantic series figure. Um, the fact that it's bulky and it's big, like the 2000s, since the 2000 suit was based off this suit, the idea of having this big and bulky, gigantic, excuse me, this Godzilla in a gigantic form would be very, very awesome. For Rip Boy item, I would like to see maybe a little mini King Kong, um, maybe the sub that crashed into the iceberg that unleashed Godzilla to begin with as a Rick Boy item. Or maybe they might do a light up as they do with, um, you know, almost almost all the Rip Boys out there. I mean, I know, like, I mean, I, I'm kind of tired of the light ups. Or maybe they won't do it on a gigantic series figure. But that may be one of the items. But I'd like to see a little mini King Kong as the Rip Boy item. So number three, Godzilla 1962, King Goji. Number two. Which is basically what it, uh, what is on everybody's mind. The Godzilla 1954. Everybody is really believing that this may be the next gigantic series figure. Um, and rightfully so, since it's the first. And it would be very interesting to see how they will um, make this figure. Um, will it be stylized like the GMK? Um... Or less stylized, like the Burning Godzilla. Let me go on record by saying this as far as like stylization of these figures. Of course, GMK is very stylized, but I'm going to be played devil's advocate when it comes to Burning Godzilla. I would have to say that Burning Godzilla is more suit accurate than stylized. The only thing I would say is probably too small or too big is the hands or maybe the arms. Maybe it'll be a tad bit too small, but everything else, everything is suit accurate from the, the placement of the dorsal plates, the color, the size of the head, the size, the bulky size of his underbody, his lower body, is spot on. And I don't really consider this a stylized figure. I consider it more suit so accurate. But that's just my opinion. But I've hear, um, been hearing a lot of people saying that the um, Bernard Goss is a stylized because maybe the head is, is a tad bit too small. But I'm going to play devil's advocate going on record by saying, in my opinion, it's more suit so accurate than stylized. With that being said, it's going to be the question, will they make a stylized version or a suit accurate version of the Godzilla 54 if they choose to go in the G54's direction? But since more likely that might be it, then again we don't know, or at least I don't know. And um, like I said, I'm just giving you my opinion. We may see it. But, you know, but for as Lip Boy items, that's a very interesting thing because obviously the probably the first thing that comes to your mind is the Oxygen Destroyer. However, the Oxygen Destroyer was a Rip Boy item with the Burning Godzilla with the base. And it also was, um, when they came out with this figure for the Wonder Fest, um, I think in 2013 or 2012, something like that, um, they had like a little mini um, Oxygen Destroyer, um, a complete new one with this one. Um, so, but it was up to me, I would like to see two versions of this figure. Um, standard would be the monochrome black and white one. As far as the Rip Boy, I'd like to see the colored version like it was with the Wonderfest that came out. Um, um, so maybe um, we could see that. Um, I, I, I'd, like to see, I, I'd like to see the GPT-4 in a very colored version like the Wonderfest one. So I'd like to see that as the Rip Boy option for the GPT-4 if it is a Godzilla Gigantic Series figure. And the number one, and of course if you know me, it's got to be the Godzilla 1964. I would love to see this as a gigantic Sears figure. As a matter of fact, let's move you out of the way. Let's get this big guy in. There you go. Now, mind you, this is a built-up model kit by M1 and um, for the Godzilla 1964, sculpted by Yuji Sakai. And it's common knowledge that 
um, X Plus normally takes um, well-known kits or kits that've been out in, in, in that's been out for a while and make them in, their, into their own sculpts and release them. Which is basically what happened with the Gigantic series with the Brenner Gazelle and GMK. They, they were both kits of the Gazelles, but X Plus, you know, um, got them and made them made them their own sculpts into their own figures. So maybe they can make a deal with M1 to bring the Gazelle 1964 to the Gigantic series. And as far as the Rip Boy items, I, I would say since this is from the 1964 Martha vs. Godzilla movie, that maybe a little mini Mothra may be the Rip Boy item, or maybe they may go with the blue LED lights to down the back like they did with the um, um, Rip Boy or the 30 centimeter version of Godzilla 64. Um, I would say maybe the egg, but since it just got announced that a new Mothra is coming with the base that has a giant egg on it, um, that may not be a possibility if they choose to go in this direction. What I want to see, since basically this kit was hard vinyl and rubber, that maybe the Rick Boy um, would be a more uh, would be a rubber version, which is more a lifelike version of the figure, and the standard could be the hard vinyl. But who knows? Who knows? But this is my number one pick for the next Gigantic Series figure, 1964. And with that being said, um, I know with the hope with the recent news of King Ghidorah um, has been causing a lot of problems for people that have gotten their figures shipped to them um, shattered and mangled and stuff like that. Um, and I know that X Plus is well is well aware of this, and a lot of people are blaming either X Plus or the retailers that ship these figures to us. And I truly believe that there is um, the blame should be spread throughout. I believe X Plus is partly responsible, and I believe the retailers are partly responsible. With that being said, I believe that X Plus will do right by us this time. This time when they announce this gigantic series figure, whatever it may be. Because um, they may be in damage control right now because they know that King Ghidorah was such an eagerly anticipated release and to have the problem that it had, sometimes companies will come back in full force and do right by the customers. Because I know that a lot of people out there are, have their faith shaken when, it's, when it comes to dealing with X Plus or other online retailers that deal with X Plus again. And sometimes when you have a customer's faith shaken, it's kind of hard to get them back. So with that being said, I hope and I believe that X Plus will make an announcement when it comes to Gigantic Series or just X Plus in general that will do right by us to erase what happened with the King Ghidorah figure. Um, so hopefully that will happen. But then again, like I said, this is just my opinion on what may be the next Gigantic Series figure. Hopefully we'll know something soon in the next month or so. Like I said, this is just my opinion. Um, you can chime in at the comment section about um, what you want to see as a gigantic series figure, and and, and um, we can talk about that. But that's my opinion of what I want to see as far as the next gigantic series figure. Um, the Godzilla 1991, Godzilla 2000, Godzilla 1962, Godzilla 1954, and of course the Godzilla 1964. So, but we'll see it in a couple months. Um, I thank y'all for Watching. I will see y'all again on the next figure and movie review. And y'all take care and y'all have a good night. Alright? Take it easy.